Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we're back working on our ultimate survival helicopter and yeah, I want to make this thing fly today. So let's get this thing in the air. All right, we're getting this thing in the air. First thing I'm gonna need is a couple dials here just to kind of understand what's going on. And I think we're gonna need altitude, distance, and maybe speed. I think that'll help us out. So for the sake of this, we'll just put three right there. And this will be our speed, make it look nicer. Altitude and distance. Now I put my altitude at a thousand meters. Uh, it's just a little easier to kind of see what's going on. And when you're flying over the ocean, you kind of know where ground level is. Uh, our distance sensor, I put it at 100 just so it's a little more sensitive. So when we're looking at it, especially if we're landing in areas maybe with some fog and we don't know exactly where the ground level is, uh, this will help us out a little bit. It's just a little more sensitive, uh, helps us find things. Uh, let's see, we're going to need uh, altitude and a distance sensor. So let's grab those. We can put both of those right here and we'll set our dis distance sensor can go right next to it. Okay, let's hook these guys up. Altitude goes to altitude. Distance goes to distance. All right, uh, we're going to need a speed sensor. We'll take that and you know what? We can stick that right in front here they're all kind of right next to each other easy to find look at that perfect they're all right there uh nice okay so that's done um did i put a gyro on this thing i did uh let's hook our seat up to it the a and d is going to be our roll wherever that is roll roll always the last one w and s is gonna be our pitch left and right will be our y'all up and down is gonna be our collective all right and for now let's just say that when let's see i don't have a key yet let's get a key actually i do have a key isn't there a key stuck in here somewhere do i still have a key and a throttle i do hidden right there all right let's grab this we'll cut this out and this can go in our cockpit somewhere all right i think for now i'm just gonna paste it right here oh i lost my window that's okay uh should have put it up higher one more uh is all that still connected no i've broken the connections uh we'll paste it right there uh let's see Add a couple blocks here just for some visual support we'll merge that and yep i lost all my connections that's okay so this is our throttle that will come back to our engine microcontroller to our throttle our toggle button is going to turn on our backlights it's also going to turn on our engine all right i've just backed it up i don't want to have to do all these connections again um they're already good to go and there's a lot there and i don't want to mess them up so we're just going to recut this thing and put it back in its spot all right, consider it done. Uh, that's done. Let's back this up a little bit, how it was. We'll do that. This is not permanent. We're just trying to have something here so we can turn things on. Uh, now I can take that, put that to our backlights and our gyro. Where were you at gyro? Let's turn you on when we turn on. Okay, perfect. Uh, now we've got to hook some stuff up here. Let's go to our gyro. I need stabilize y'all. We'll come to our back tail here and i think i hook it to collective i think that's how that's gonna have to work uh let's see let's grab stabilize roll we'll go to roll pitch goes to pitch and then collective to collective uh up and down to collective uh there we go i'm pretty sure this is not gonna lift off because we don't have any gear ratios on this right now should be one to one on all these yes it is uh that's okay we're gonna start this thing up and then see what it actually does does uh now i do feel like this is gonna be a problem this needs to come up a little bit uh so we'll bring this up to maybe there we'll merge that with that and then we can always come in here and build something around that and make this look nicer you know what i'm talking about it let's go ahead and do it now let's see i'll put a straight pipe there let's get our mirror mode on we can bulk it out a little bit maybe come down like so okay can i do it can I, can we, maybe that's bulked out too much. Uh, what does that look like? Not too bad. Um, I feel like we're going to need all the room we can for, uh, microcontrollers. Uh, so let's come to here. Let's go to there. Let's just see what this looks like. If I fill it in, if we like it or not. All right. Do I like all that filled in? It's not terrible, but I think it needs to come back one. I think we went too wide with it up here maybe uh so we'll do like that like that and we'll need another one in here like so and we'll go across like that why couldn't it finish and then i guess we'll have to kind of fix it in the back here do a one by four there uh we'll do our pyramids here hmm i'm sure i'm digging it but we're gonna have to work with it all right let's see if we can make this look a little bit nicer here it's not gonna be great because of uh lack of materials here but we're gonna do what we can that comes back this now needs to be a flat piece like so oh, i don't know if this is gonna look right bring that down like so that down like so we'll get rid of you in here fill that in like so okay well it looks like it might fit 
Everything looks okay. There's a little bit of an edge there, but I think that's okay. It's really making this thing nice and round, though. I think that's okay, though. Let's see what this looks like here. If I bring that down, is that terrible? That's somewhat terrible, I think. Uh, let's do it like this. I don't know if I'm going to dig this, but uh, I wanted to get this thing in the air, and now I'm, I'm, I'm too hyper-focused on how it looks. Uh, let's, let's just do this. Let's get this done, and then we'll get this thing working. Uh, let's do this. A couple more pyramids, and we'll need an inverse piece in here. Okay. Um, I absolutely hate that. I hate the way this looks. Uh, let's try these guys instead. Let's try the two by ones. They're going to look better. Let's go back to the fours. Let's go back to the four by ones. See what those look like. So we end up with something like that, which either way, that's going to have to be a kind of a flat section. Uh, all right. So we're going back to the two by ones. All right. So we're left here with this little, uh, awkwardness. That's okay. We'll just, uh, we'll just fill it in. It can be what it is. Come on. And then maybe, maybe we do that one there. Will it let us? Eh, I don't know. Uh, it's gonna have to do for now. It's gonna have to do for now. Uh, so actually, let's see. What if we get rid of all that, 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 that. Nope, put that back. That was important. And we flatten it like that. That's a little better. That's a little better. And then we can come in here and just do like this, which I like a lot better. Yeah, I like that a lot better, but it doesn't matter. As soon as I put this on the workshop, it's, it belongs to you guys and you guys can do whatever you want to. You can change it, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, we're all hooked up here. Let me double check that. Okay, so I need to go through and check power. I'm sure we're not hooked up to anything. We are not. Uh, let's hook all this up. All right, I think we're all hooked up here. Let me hover just to make sure um, our battery's good there. Let's come all the way back to these guys. Do a quick little hover. What is? What are you? Small gin. It looks like the two gins, which is the clutch. All right, all that should be good to go. All right, perfect. Uh, let's see. Uh, we should be able to crank this thing now. All right, let's see if everything's hooked up right and if this thing will actually get in the air. All right, pilot seat here, power on. We're cranking up, okay. We're struggling to crank up. It cranked up before, didn't it? More throttle. All right, back to figuring out what's wrong. Somehow our pumps didn't get connected here. Probably my fault. So it wasn't getting any air. Let's try this again. All right, crank it up. Okay, engine is running. And we have power to our props. Okay, full power. We're still a one-to-one. -one. Uh, makes sense, we're not able to lift up. But as you can see, everything is turning and that is great. Uh, let's, okay, I do have y'all. I do have some y'all. So our y'all is working. We just don't have a whole lot of power on that. Oh, uh, that is great. Okay, so let's mess with our gear gearboxes a little bit and see if we can actually get this thing off the ground. All right, so we do have the power. So let's come in here and let's just start with our first one here. Let's just go three to one. We'll, we'll crank it up pretty big here and just see what we can do. Power on, we're cranked up, we've got the power. Okay, we can take off, oh, oh, okay, it does leave the ground. Um, but now, 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 we don't have enough uh, rotation here. So let's see if just matching up our gear, gear ratios fixes this. If all we have to do is match gear ratios here, then we can actually get rid of these gearboxes, put them in line here and not have to worry about this. Uh, Otherwise, we might have to do some trim on the seat here to get this to actually work. Uh, so let's try this. Crank it. Give it some power. Easy does it. A little bit of collective. Let's see if I can get out of the hangar here. It still wants to turn a little bit. So we're going to need a little bit of a uh, trim on that back, back prop there. But we're doing okay. We barely made it out of here, though. Jeez. Okay, full collective up. I'm not getting anything. Okay, let's get some full power. So we'll need to uh, increase our gear ratios as well. But look, it does fly. It is, uh, we can fix all the problems with it now. That is awesome. All right, so uh, we've got the power. We can fly it. Uh, let's mess with this gear ratio a little bit more. I don't want to be using 100% throttle to get this thing off the ground. Uh, we need to be using about 50% and then have the extra 54 reserve power. So let's get down there and uh, let's switch some things around. Uh, so let's just try this. Let's go ahead and take our next one up to uh, three to one. We'll just force it, uh, force a huge gear ratio on this. Uh, we should have the power for the engine. If we don't have the power, then we know we can just back it up a little bit. All right, there we are, about 40 something percent. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, you know what? I'm actually, because that works, let's bring it, let's uh, let's hit it more. Uh, the lower RPMs or the lower RPS we can have on this engine, the better off we will be and the cooler it will be. So we're just gonna match all of these up. We got three to one across the whole, we might have to put some more gear ratios in there. Okay, will this fly? Let's try 25% and it already wants to take off. So we're just barely using throttle here and this thing wants to go. That's great. Uh, we should have all the reserve power we need for whatever. Um, let's scoot on out of here. And we don't really have any weird 
uh, gyro effect with our back prop here. Um, so we don't have to put any trim on it. Uh, maybe, maybe a slight, it looks like it might be turning a little bit, but it looks all right. Uh, let's go forward a little bit. And I'm already noticing in, uh, something that we are super slow. Uh, so we might have to put some sort of uh, propulsion in this. But other than that, I mean, look at this thing. Ooh, we've got the wobbles. We've always got the wobbles. Uh, that could be fixed. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. I can fix that. Let's turn the gyro down a little bit. Uh, so if you ever get the wobbles, uh, come into your gyro and just start turning these down a little bit. Um, that should eliminate some of that. Uh, now, the, the more you tune it down, the less control you actually do have over it. Um, so you got to be kind of careful where you where you go here. Uh, but just gradual increments uh, should be enough to get this thing to not not have problems. Uh, we'll give it one more go here. Ooh, other than this, a uh, oh, oh, little bit of I don't know what the wobbles coming from. I think it might be the roll. Oh, okay. Well, we've damaged that. Uh, and clearly we can still, uh, we still fly with some missing blades there. Uh, let's see if I can get it to wobble again. Yeah, it's a little bit of wobble. I think I'm pretty sure that's roll. Uh, but as you can see, it's not as bad. So just tuning the gyro, uh, has already solved that problem. Uh, guys, it flies. It flies. I'm super excited. Uh, that's all I really was caring, caring to make sure this would do it. Uh, you guys were all concerned that it was never going to fly. And here it is. It's flying. Uh, so now we can come in, we can put some better systems into our cockpit here. Uh, we've got to work on our harness. Um, you know what? How well does this thing float? Uh, I'm pretty sure it floats, but I'm pretty sure it does not float upright. So let's, uh, let's give that a go. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to throw some sort of alt hold in here so that we can, uh, we can just hover right above the water surface and do what we need. Now our harness should be able to accommodate all of that if we get that done right. Okay. So let's, let's try and float this guy. Yep. We're already, I can already tell we're going to roll over. Um, let's just do it. Let's kill the power. Power has been killed, but look, we still have power because of that flywheel. That flywheel has given us time to do what we need oh there we go we've lost it and we've rolled over okay so clearly we can't land in the water but that's okay um we'll just have to come up with some other uh features that keep us from doing that so you guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate you 100 if you are enjoying this series make sure you throw a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already the thing flies now that's great uh so now i don't have to worry about that and we can just kind of focus on some more cosmetic stuff and getting this thing uh top tier for you guys and then you guys can have it and do whatever the heck you want with it so uh uh, thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next one.